Harley. I want to start up a YouTube account, but I'm scared of what the haters are going to say to me. <laughs> I used to be like that. And uh, I remember starting YouTube up in 2008. I was watching YouTube, I was watching a Matt Monarch video. And Matt Monarch was in Thailand in Chanaburi. And he's with Angela buying Durin. And in Chanaburi, it's Durin capital of the world. So you just get your Durin, you can sit down and eat it. And uh, throw the compost in the garden or the bin or whatever. But Matt decided to get it all wrapped in plastic. He got the durian, you know, they separate it, pulled out the plastic, put it in more plastic and things like that. And then he just, he did, and he just ate it, put the plastic in the bin like a few minutes later. <laughs> and I'm thinking, no, <laughs> whoa, man, you don't need to use all that plastic. You can just get the durian and take it. You don't need to get it wrapped in five layers of plastic. So Matt Monarch inspired me to go out that day, spend 100 bucks on a little Pentax camera and start my own YouTube account up. My first YouTube video was lame. It was nine seconds long. It's like, hey, this is a market in Thailand. This is how you get your durian. But I was inspired. I was like, hang on, I can do a better job. There's so many people out there going, I can do a better job now. I can do a better job in durian or whatever. Great. Go out there and do it, man. Don't worry about the haters. Haters is like weeds in the garden. They is like weeds in the garden. You're going to have an organic garden. You're going to is getting to have weeds, man. <laughs> You're going to be having some weeds. So what you do, you get the weeds, you pull them out, and use them as compost. You get your haters, use them as compost. How do you get haters? How do you get more money as a YouTube partner when you got haters? My tip is I've learned is you delete the haters' comments and block and remove them. And then they, they'll sign up another account or they'll talk, talk about you on forums. Is doing right, you guys? No, so he blocked me and deleted me. Blah, 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 blah. And that generates more clicks on your ads, it generates more views more pennies, you get your message out there. So haters, welcome the haters. My recommendation is don't take it personally. When your channel's really big like mine is, just spend a few minutes every few days just going through comments, just deleting stuff, blocking, removing, banning people, whatever. And then that helps generate more hits because those people freak out and they like talk about you more. So it's free advertising. You get the haters to work for you. <laughs> Your haters are your, like your affiliates. <laughs> so I work, I embrace the haters. I welcome the haters. Because if you want to make a difference in the planet, you're going to get haters, man. That's just how it is. It, people think, oh, if I'm really nice and lovey and people will like respect me and they'll be loving and, and, and there'll be no hating. and it was super <laughs> So it doesn't fucking happen, man. John Lennon, shot in the face. Martin Luther King, shot in the face. Gandhi, shot in the face. Jesus, put on the cross. All these people spoke about non-violent communication and, and being peaceful and loving, and they got executed in horrific fashion. For you to think, oh, I can be all lovey and there's going to be no hate on my channel or whatever, <laughs> get over it, man. It ain't going to fucking happen. Just get out there and embrace it. Start YouTube channel up. Speak from the heart. Those that mind do not matter, and those that matter do not mind. So you're taking care of YouTube haters. You embrace it. You welcome them. You understand that they're weeds in the garden. You compost them. You delete them to get more hits. Blah, blah, blah. I just explained that. Second thing is haters in real life. What do you do with people in your family or your friend circle or your community or your suburb or town when they realize what you stand for? They fucking hate it. So what do you do about them? What do you do about the number two, the, the haters in the real world? People in your community, your town, etc., things like that. People you work with. What do you do? How do you deal with that? The real life haters, man. The people in your face and saying, "What are you doing, man? How can you can't say that?" How do you deal with those people? <laughs> That's a, a little bit harder than the dealing with people on YouTube who, who don't even have an identification or a photo of themselves when your videos up, or just some oblivious whatever. <laughs> when you got people in your face blah, 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 going off at you, again, bottom line rule: don't take anything personally. Stay carved up. Stay hydrated. Stay well slept, so you can deal with it. So you don't take it personally. So you go, okay, what else is going on in this person's life? Why are they, you know, why are they hating it? Why are these people hating life so much? And most of the time, they're just dehydrated, undercarbed, haven't had, haven't had much sleep. I mean, how many people do you know who get a lot of early nights? No wonder the people are freaking out. So don't take anything personally. Just say what you mean, mean what you say, speak from the heart, use a bit of fun, things like that. But you're still going to get haters. I've, I've had people scream at me. I've been stabbed before, been sued before. People like Dave all trying to sue me. People just trying to shut me down. Banned on so many forums, raw food forums. <laughs> I've been banned on more raw food forums than anyone I know. And that's how we got our website up, 30 Bananas a Day. Just kept getting banned from so many forums. We're like, hang on, we, we've got to get our own forum where we can speak the truth. 
And we've created the number one raw foods website on the planet, period. It's the Facebook of raw foods. It's the Facebook for health and fitness enthusiasts. 30bananasaday.com. Check it out. So you can turn hate into great. And our website, our YouTube channels are examples of that. So don't use haters as an excuse why you can't get your message out there. Oh, my God, what the haters, my sorry. <laughs> Fuck the haters, man. Embrace them, compost them. They make you a better person. So haters in real life, the people you're working with, what to do with them? Well, I'll tell you what. In the last 10 years since I've been in this vegan path and been you know, sharing people my information, my experiences, I've had people just totally hating it, man. I've had people like used to be chummy with, don't even talk to me anymore. They like see me in the street. They totally ignore me. I'll be on a bike ride with them. They'll totally ignore me. They'll be like, oh, your diet's too extreme, Harley. You, that's not dry. You know, like you can't tell people to eat rice, fruits and vegetables and organic fruits and veggies. And that's, you can't do that, man. It's extreme. Like, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, you're all right, man. Go and do fucking chemotherapy and get a uh, colostomy bag. That's conservative. Eating a plant food-based diet, high carb, low fat. Rich in fruits and vegetables, organic foods. Yeah, that that's radical, isn't it? <laughs> but I don't take it personally. I don't take it personally, but I stand up for myself. I, I, I refuse to be uh, bullied or ridiculed or whatever. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell people what I think. I'm not going to punch anyone, even though I do Muay Thai in Thailand and, and do a lot of kickboxing. I'm not going to exactly shin kick anyone in the face because they disagree with my uh, health philosophies. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to be honest with them and say, hey, man. Just because you're apathetic and complacent, you have to take your shit out of me, man. It's just how it is. I'm just, I'm just being honest, man. If you don't like the message, you don't shoot the message. Recently, I was talking to the guy about type two diabetes, and he had type two diabetes, and he's going, "Oh, I'd rather fucking die than eat your fucking hippie vegan diet of rice and fruits and vegetables and all these low fat, high carbohydrate foods. That sounds disgusting. I'd fucking rather die, mate." I need my meat pies, I need my beer, I need my fucking sausage and steak. <laughs> like, hey man, cool dude, like, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know, brother, because I see you got some health issues, I'm just going to let you know. Chill, man. And uh, he sort of started to settle down a bit. And I remember, if I heard this 10 years ago, I would have taken it really personal, I'd be like freaking out a week about it. But now I'm like, man, it's just population control. 99% of people would rather die than change their diet. I'm not attached to that anymore. I'm attached to sharing the message of health and fitness. I'm not attached to people's outcomes. I'm attached to just giving the message, letting people know what I feel, and the next person. I'm not going to follow it up with people and go, oh, aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing this? I used to do that. Done with that. There's too many people out there who genuinely want help versus people who are like sort of half interested or not interested at all, and you're wasting your time with them. When the people who are really 100% committed you're not giving them as much t attention as, as they can as they deserve because they're, they're committed. There's a big difference between interested people and committed people. And over time, you learn who's interested, who's committed. My focus now is on the committed people. That's where my focus lays in. And it's great with things like YouTube where I can just share the message and get it out there. So while I'm sleeping, people can be reaping. How cool is that? So bottom line, embrace the haters. Stand up for what you believe is right. Follow your heart no matter what other people around you say to do or what the status quo says or the God of public opinion says should is right, whatever. Follow your heart what is right. That's how you make decisions in life. You follow your heart. Fuck everyone else. Whatever, man. Just follow your heart. That's all that matters. End of the day. If you fail to follow your heart, you will live a life of deficiency. You will live a life of quiet desperation and constant regret. Follow your heart every day. Every day is the day. Carb up, sleep up, hydrate up, smash the day like a watermelon, embrace the haters, and I'll see you on YouTube. Thanks for watching.